baby bottle time. Fix it, go out and walk, and uh, give her her bottle. Give me one second. Bye. Come on. Just look at the calf. Don't look at me in my nightgown with Lex's crops. Lex outgrew these crops. They are very convenient with slipping on and going out the door. And my feet, my toes are warm, sort of, because I'm not in foot flops. Anyway, it was time for a bottle, so it don't matter how we look. I was just talking to dad a little bit ago, asking him should I bring her some feed in here to nibble on. He said she's not going to eat it right now. You know, calves that are on there with their mom, they see mom eating, so they try it. That's how they learn. The same way with goats. Um, if they, you've got a, a, um, a, a baby goat out there with its mama, it's watching everything mama does. So it nibbles at the grass or it nibbles at the feed. It's not eating enough feed to sustain it because it's just nibbling at it because it watched its mama nibble at it. Um, so I just asked dad, should I just put some out here? And he said, I can. He said, she, he said, I could even put a little bit in my hand. He said, she may get one or two little kernels of the corn or something. He said, but, uh, won't be enough, but it'll give her. He said, that's why he was hoping that we could hurry and get the goat in with her. And I can't do that right now. I can't put that goat in this, in this room, in this barn with a floor with no feet, uh, no hay or grass. Um, so I told him that Saturday I would like to work on the little stall out there. Um, I got my T111, so I just have to cut it. It's all, it's all ready. I just need to put the floor down. Um, like I, I said in that other video that I was going to fill that hole. Well, I filled the hole in, but it's like um, a jig jaggedy hole. I don't know how to describe it because it's just a whole bunch of junk down in it, but it needs to be a flat surface on the top. So a hoof doesn't go down, you know, a foot doesn't go down in it on a spot that's not filled in so and I'm, pro I'm still going to do that um I also have sand I have bags of sand that I bought for the swimming pool when I set this pool up this past summer so I can put your it's done baby girl you're done you're done I am going to start on um on a uh maybe about a quarter it'll be the two quarts plus I'll do about this much because she is she's nine days old now I think she needs to uh we need to add a little bit to it um <laughs> baby girl you finished it you finished it you finished it so I'm going to start maybe this evening give her a little bit more to get her through the night take her a little bit longer to but you don't want to ever overfeed them too you know, because we can make them sick. Uh, it's warm in here. I mean, there's no heat in here, but it's warm. It's completely, it, I mean, I, I was just saying that it feels good in here. <laughs> so yeah, this evening I may give her a little bit more, make up a little extra and uh, give her about a, a quarter of this more. She is, she's, Holsteins are a bigger cow, not to mention that she's, well, she's actually, I would say not, she's nine days old now. So, she's going to need, she's going to need to start getting a little bit more in her. But I can see her little tummies 
Her little tummy is full now. There's no hollow spot. There's no hollow spot. Oh, we'll get it. I got a brush. I'm gonna start brushing her. Get some of this paint they paint on them off. clothes change. I think I'm going to have to go, um, well, I'll talk about that real quick while I'm out here. Um, I'm going to have to go. Dad is messaging that lady where he got the goat because I told him she's not eating. She's nibbling at grass and stuff, which is normal, but she's not eating the feed. And I said, Dad, if they're giving her straight goat feed or some kind of a goat pellet, I need to know because she's not eating this. And see, I don't give a goat, a specific only goat's feed. I feed, um, it's a, it's a, it's a feed, it's like a sweet feed. It's for cows, horses, and goats. Sheep, anything can eat it. But she's turning her nose up at it. So she may be, they may have just been giving her some kind of a goat pellet and that's it. And I can't let her sit out here. I mean, she's already skinny. I know that dairy goats are skinnier than normal goats, but still, she's, she's very skinny. Um, so I, I, I was going to run on the track this well, I know the, the day is nasty. Today is a rainy day. It's not like yesterday. Yesterday, we didn't have any rain. It was this misty stuff all day long almost, but no rain, no full-on rain. But, um, yeah, I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to get dressed and then wait for him to message me and let me know. All right, love you guys. See y'all later. Oh, it is cold. So I've talked to the lady that had baby girl. Y'all can hear her. She's coming out from underneath the... Come on, baby girl. She sleeps under the steps and she's still not eating her food. I'm going to chalk that up to right now, her just being in a new place and not sure of everything. Um, she fed her the same thing I'm feeding her, except she also, she gave fed an all stock. That's what I feed mine, all stock. Um, but she also gave her something called, a, it was a lactation uh, pellet. And, um, I don't know, I told Dad I would think you wouldn't give anything a lactation medicine. I mean, not medicine, but a food or anything that would help in lactation unless she's pregnant or has just had a baby and you're just keeping the milk flow going. So, I'm not really for sure why that was. But she also said they didn't grain, they weren't heavy grain uh, feeders. So, basically saying she doesn't really feed them up feed her that often anything so you know you know my goats I'm so used to them wanting food every time they turn around they free range then they eat once a day here sometimes twice a day here if it's cold like today and how it's been this week here they didn't heard me here they're slowly coming up I see I see Bilbo coming up Anyway, um, yeah, I see them all. They're over there by the hay up there on the hill. So anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about her as long as she's, um, she's eating at the grass. Well, she's peeing now, but she's eating at the grass. Um, if she nibbles at the feed, that's fine. So uh, it makes me feel better to know that they weren't really that big on feeding her. That's probably why she needs to gain a little weight. I, I'm perfectly aware that a, um, I can't ever get this. Is, I'm going to have to get me a new bucket or something. I can't, this one just locks up and I can't get it out. And now you're... Come on out of there. Ah, there. Um, keepers. 
It don't hurt. It don't help anyone. Your hands are cold. There you go, guys. So yeah, I don't know what, what was I saying. Um, my guys do. Oh, they hear me now. Um, my guys do eat. So, and they've always ate. And you know, I was a. What do they call it? A hover mom, with Bilbo and Frodo especially. I gave them bottles way beyond time to give them bottles, so they still wanted a bottle. And I even gave them bottles. <laughs> They should have been off the bottle for so long, but they were still on a bottle. Daddy would make fun saying how fat they were. Um, but then when I got the three little ones, they would try to steal their bottles. When they were old enough, the three little ones were old, old enough to go outside too, and they, but they were still being having bottles because they were still they still needed their bottles. Them two coming right there, they wanted bottles too because they had always. My camera is not, it, it's not wanting to show. Listen to that duck. <laughs> I don't know where all the chickens are. The chickens are, there's one over there. There was one laying in here. Um, I'm gathering eggs for Steph too. I've got an 18 pack ready that I did not refrigerate. And uh, she's wanting to, she doesn't want to buy her any more eggs this time around. You know, she bought, not, not eggs, but chicks. She bought chicks, and then those dogs killed them all but one. The one that she had left now lives out here with mine. So I think this time around, she's not going to spend the money. She's just going to um, hatch her own. Uh, so I told her I would gather her eggs up. But uh, I only see one back in there right now. But there's usually about four over there in the goat house. And it's still early in the day. It's not It's not even 2 o'clock yet. So, hold on one second. I got to sit y'all down while I... You know, well, I'll put you right here because y'all can see how I have to get these daggum eggs out of there. I literally have to use my rake. I still leave this open for the ducks. I'm a chicken that want to come up in here and sleep that lights here so they could be warm if they wanted. Oh my gosh. Well, I just knocked you down. So sorry. So sorry. I probably messed with somebody's vertigo, that's for sure. Anyway, I kept the light on out here, the heat lamp, for any of them that want to get up in there. And I have a couple of chickens that lay their eggs up in there. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gathering her up some eggs. Uh, I told her I have an 18 pack. Dad told her he knows he's got some eggs somewhere, but his his hens are hiding them. I've had that happen too before. It was like, I can tell you right now, there's a yellow, one of my buffs out there in the, in the, uh, yard with Minky. Minky in her house. She's like, she ain't coming out of that house. It's cold and wet. Um, I had a one of the Rhode Island Reds, one of my mamas, every morning making racket out there. And I'm thinking, she's laying eggs somewhere out here. But I walked all out through there. And so now I'm thinking I probably have a clutch of eggs underneath my house because um, when I walked out there that day and couldn't find any eggs anywhere, I squatted down. I was looking under my house. I mean, to a degree, it's dark. You can only see so far back with the light that you're getting from, you know, outside on a sunny day. But um, I went ahead because I, that side of the house, not this side that you see here. And don't even look at that nasty... Not this side, but that side right there. I had not put the lattice up yet from when I had it down. Look at that nasty wetness. That that lawnmower's gotta go to the garbage. 
don't think I just left it there because I just leave my stuff out like that. It's, it was on its last leg. It needs to be thrown away. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, I'm so happy that she eats the grass. So I told dad I might could put Gimli in here with her since he can't seem to keep his head out of the fences. Oh, worked on my garden. The last day it was warm, got it all weeded. There's some more weeds coming up on that far side. I need to add some more soil. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go out here real quick and get them some food and check if there's any eggs out there. Give me one minute. Yes, give me a second. Come on, Mary. No, Frodo. Mary, come on. No, Mary. Mary! No, sir. Mary, come on. Come on. Get your honey out here. Let me pull you. Making me pull you. Too cold for that mess. My hands are already on ice. Dump out the water. Thanks, Frodo, for hitting me in the spot. Dogs out there. Going. Come on! It's cold. <sighs> Honey, I'm gonna get. You're gonna get a spanking. Come on, let's get in here. It's cold. Come on, honey. Short-legged weirdo. Come on. All right. They're fed. I don't know if y'all could see that on the camera. They nearly were attacking my bucket. Broke my handle on my bucket. Bucket. Then my bucket hit the ground. Oh, I love that. I love that she's eating. Oh, I think I already told y'all. I plan on working out there Look Saturday. Eggs. Damn it. Which I don't normally gather the eggs out here at night till night. But I told Steph... The other day, I had about four eggs in the back of the brooder where the hot light is. And that was during the day. And I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about them now. I'll get them this evening. And when I come out, uh, well, it wasn't even that like late in the evening. But because it wasn't even dark yet. And there was only one left. Okay. There was no coon or possum coming up in the daytime to get them eggs. That was a chicken. That was one that is more, it's got to be that black chicken. That, uh, oh, she says, get the heck out of here. Come on, uh, Jensen, we're not going to bother her right now. That old black chicken. 
um, she's an egg eater. And I don't know if I told y'all that story already, but I, I knew that I was having some eggs missing. Like I'd see them, but my plan was, you know, like I'd come out in the middle of the day and, and feed. Especially when you're busy, you know, you get going, you got early morning stuff, so you don't feed early. You wait, you know, more like it's like 12 or 1 when you feed. And I seen some eggs. And then that evening, there wouldn't be but one or two eggs. And I was like, okay, something's going on. So one day, I had a, some eggs in my hand one evening. I come out to the gate, but I still had to go out to the goats. So I sat them right there on the ground outside of the gate. When I got through feeding the goats and come back, she was standing there eating them. She had already cracked into, I don't remember how many there were, four or five, I don't know. But she'd already cracked into two of them. Um, so I know she does. And I know some, some farmers, honestly, some farmers would say, you know, she becomes a meal. But I don't want to. I mean, I really don't want to kill her. So I try, this is like what I was saying the other day, even though that one day I went ahead and left them because I hadn't been having that problem lately, here comes the rain, I hadn't noticed it happening. I was getting a good amount of eggs every day, so I was thinking, well, maybe as long as I'm keeping her, oh, Molly hears me outside. Um, but as long as I was checking on them off and on through the day and I'm out here moving around and milling around and throwing them feed off and on for different reasons, I didn't seem to be losing any eggs. So then I got to thinking I'm going to have to start gathering as soon as I can. Like in the middle of the day, gather what's there. Then there won't be anything left till the evening and just gather them. Anyway, I don't know. It seems like um, I can't really stay on the schedule of gathering the eggs. For the most part, I just gather in the evening. That's it. But I went ahead and brought these in now. So, uh... I think Steph's incubator, she had to order another one because Elora, I don't know why she had an incubator on the floor to start with, but she, it was on the floor in her pantry. I don't remember if she had eggs in it or if she just had it sitting down there stored. But Elora you, stood on it to get something out of the deep freeze and busted it in because, you know, they're styrofoam. Anyway, I told her I had one she could borrow. Daddy has one she could have borrowed, but she wanted her own, which is fine. Um, so we just got to get her some eggs. So Daz said, said he would look around, see if he could find the clutch he's got somewhere. He said, you know, his hands are laying somewhere, but he's not for sure where. So I don't know. But, um, I, I told her I had 18 already and today I would gather and she could have all of whatever, whatever it is. Cause I've got four, four dozen for sure in the refrigerator ready to go to whoever needs eggs next. And then I think I have about, I mean, not four dozen, but four 18 packs. But I think I have two other 18 packs in the door of the refrigerator. They just haven't been put into cartons yet. I'm pretty sure I do. My fingers are freezing. I'll see y'all later. Love you guys. My fingers are so cold. I should have run them under warm water. But I just flopped down here on the couch. I was going to tell y'all. So at this morning after, um, in this video that I give y'all, you'll get this little pit too at the end. But, um, so this morning after I fed her, her bottle, Molly, her bottle, I came back in and I made another, um, pint up. Oh, my hands. I need to sit on them. So I made another pint. Sorry. Um, for her and then I took it out and fed her real quick. So I got to Googling. Um, I was talking to mom and I said, I was say it, telling everybody, but my, see, dad basically ruined my surprise. Um, I don't care. But here I was putting out a video telling y'all what I'm doing without telling you the animal and everybody was trying to guess an animal. I can tell you right now, there will never be a pig here. I have no desire whatsoever to have a pig none and i don't desire to ever have an ostrich um there's really nothing i desire 
to have right now. I love horses. I do. I love horses. But I don't have enough property for a horse um, to eat good. Um, you know, cows, they eat, and then you see them laying down somewhere. They're not eating. Horses don't. Horses eat all day long. Unless you are working that horse, that horse is eating. It's eating the grain you give it, if you give it grain, and it's eating the hay on the field, the grass. Him kick him out? Who did? Oh, well, Men in Black. How did kick him out? Yeah, that's what he told him. That's what he told her. Yes. That just, to, um, as a matter of fact, you kicked him out. Yes. About Edgar? Yeah. Yeah. He ain't a hard man. He Edgar was a horrible man, and then he became a bug. He ain't a hard man. Yes, he is. He ain't a horrible. Okay. Okay. Anyway, For seven days. <sighs> Levi, baby, you've got to drink this down. I don't like to pick it up when it's dripping. Anyway, so I googled, and I am. I, I, she did need to, after that first week, she needed to be upped her intake on her, um... Everybody even took his body. Mm-hmm. And gradually, between the second week and the fourth week... Now, this is what I read. I didn't look at a whole bunch of different homesteads or any of that. I just Googled and then read a couple of the first few things that popped up. Basically, they were all saying about the same thing. After the second week through the fourth week, they're getting two, you would gradually increase their intake to two gallons of milk a day. They're basically going to get a gallon in the morning and a gallon in the evening. Slow down in there, and you would gradually raise that up all from the second week through the fourth. But knowing me, I'll probably feed her on a bottle forever. She's probably be a year old out there drinking a bottle. Because so I just loved it. I loved it with the goats. Bilbo, his mouth was so big, he almost took the whole end of the bottle in his mouth. I won't do that with them, with her. But I want to. Anyway, I'm going to um, wrap this video up. I'm hoping this weekend to get uh, finished on their little stall. Um, I had a few negative comments about the stall. I already said that it was wet. I already said that I was pouring concrete in that hole um, to, to smooth that out. I thought I said, if I didn't, then I guess I'm telling you now, that I actually also have three or four bags of sand sand that I can put out there to dry up some of that nastiness, but um, we'll be putting a floor in there, which I think I've already talked about. Um, so I'm hoping to get that done this weekend, and then baby girl and Molly will have that whole stall to themselves, plus that whole lane down to those little gates that I'd built back in the summer. And um, that'll give them a good place to be and to get out in the sunny days. They can get out and uh, baby girl can eat on the grass. Anyway, it'll 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 all be good. And then are uh, the ones that were I'm telling y'all there were some when everybody got down on Jacob. It's like they jumped over there on mine and started saying things negative on mine. I'm just like you know what this page is happy. I'm happy. I have a new little milk goat. I'm happy. I have this beautiful little calf. Don't don't come to my page and be mean because I don't want to be hateful, but I am I will hit block faster than anybody around here because I don't want it. I got too much in my life going on that could drag me down that I choose not to let it drag me down. And I don't mean drag me down. I like I'm just saying my life can be stressful. I mean, I have a 26 year old autistic son. My life can be very stressful. So don't come to me with your mess. I have two years, because somebody says something about that 
stall being too small for a cow. Well, yeah, she's a cow, but right now she's little. She, that stall is plenty big enough for her. And I've got two years to worry about a nice size barn with a couple of stalls in it. Anyway, I probably already talked about this in something else, but I, I, sometimes when I go back to answer calls, I'm not lying to you. You guys out there that have pages, you already know what I'm saying. You go to mess to, to answer comments and, you know, interact with your people that love your page. And then you start seeing the negative ones. You just shut the phone off because you just don't feel like dealing with it. Anyway, it was, some of them were very negative, And I'm just like, mm -mm, you're not doing this to me. So, um, but I'm. I'm so happy with my new little goat, and I'm so happy with Molly, and it's almost time to go feed her. Um, I've been messing with this video off and on throughout the day, so it's literally about an hour or so I'll go out and feed her for the evening. Um, anyway, I love you guys. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful um, week. You guys that are getting the ice and stuff, I'm so sorry. I'm praying for y'all. I hope everybody stays safe. And I know I keep getting Fox messages, like all these people without power. And I'm so sorry. I hope all y'all can stay warm. And if you can't find warm places, do not go to your garage and get in your car. That's dangerous. Um, don't run any generators in your house. No matter how cold it is, I don't know. I'm not good with telling everybody exactly what to do, but I just don't want anybody getting hurt with this cold stuff. Um, I don't want you freezing, and I, but I don't want you putting yourself in harm's way. Love you guys. God bless y'all.